in total. Today? Thursday, 3rd November 2016. Here you go. Yeah, Kingy, give me a call when you're ready. Uh, haven't heard from you for a while. Um, I just had an indecision with Sue and and uh, Hohepa, so I booted them sideways because I think they had a lot to do with the stuff up up, uh, up at Waitangi. So I'm out of them now, out of Sue altogether. And Hohepa just blew them up last night on Skype, trying to tell me what to do. So the Tamata seems to be on side with me and you. So as far as I'm concerned, you're as, uh, as, as normal on my documents, your name on there. I don't care about anything else at this stage. And it's too late for anybody to change my mind about what's gone to Britain. Uh, and an email's gone to you. Uh, and a video with me just telling you that uh, we're staying as we are with the uh, Waitangi Marae. And I'm heading off the uh, US ship coming, a nuclear ship coming and get some letters prepared for that and for the elections in, in, in the States, okay? I'll catch up with you soon. Bye for now. Okay, no, nothing's changed. Bye. Yeah, I just left a message with King. I know he's uh, not the best uh, after Waitangi. Uh, I, I just got a feeling that something's amiss up there. But I'm sticking with my man. I'm sticking with him because we've put too much together uh, with this uh, setting up this um, uh, Westminster. There's been nobody around all the way through. There's been nobody supporting me in what I do. They're all on different tangents with their own history, which is okay. But when it comes to bank, pound notes, commerce, international um, trading, and the flag going around the world, not here. And stuck here on the land and not going anywhere. No government in place, all those sort of things. I've elected to go straight into Westminster with the flag and operate uh, commercial business. And all it's going to take is the Tomata with the proclamation I gave them, the um, um, pages, uh, four pages and um, the agenda of what um, the Huia wanted to happen somehow or other. It didn't go to the plane because someone broke down on the um, access to the Marae. That's not going to be the same on the 6th of February. 4th, 5th, 6th of February, there'll be a different story next year uh, with Kingy, myself and Jim week or two and a few others. But I'm just alerting the Navy now. I'm not going to the gym today. I'm going to stay writing letters. It'll take me a while to set up letterheads. And um, the, the Navy, Chief of uh, Navy, Rear Admiral John Martin, never responded to a King Seal letterhead. Okay? He was ignorant of the fact that I'm talking from that level of a King of the Sea of Admiralty, Court Martial Law, jurisdiction here, that he'll have to face sooner or later from the British end of um, authority from these lands he's standing on. He's going to get a sharp shock when it comes to Waitangi Day uh, from the chiefs. They're adamant now, they've had enough, the same as Trump and all the people in America had enough. The people in Britain have had enough of the Queen and her fraud, corrupted business with Obama and Hillary Clinton, ISIS, and pointing straight to the Queen and her military part of this fraud scam that's going on right through the world. And the um, way she's going in the EU Parliament with um, Brexit now breathing down her neck. Um, with her abandoning, abandoning us here, the New Zealand, Indigenous people of the world, 
we're here for the for the native um, landowners and the king um, Ernest Augustus the fifth in England for the chiefs and putting together letters to um, proposition him or petition him to the throne from the chiefs our partner the king William the fourth Admiralty and his eight-point star you will order okay we're, we're pushing this issue Kingi Toto I'm just making this video for you we're pushing this eight-point star on the flag it means something on the flag as it is in the four corners and the Admiralty blue part of the flag and the red uh, cross of the Vatican and King George and also Malta, St. John, Order, and the black strip around the red cross is the seal to keep Satan out. Okay, that's what that black strip is to protect it against the evil forces. The black, anything black on a flag is evil. It's Satan and the devil hanging around trying to stymie what we do and what Trump does for the people of America and the world for that matter run crookedly for the elite cabal of Queen Elizabeth II and her royal family that's not royal. She hasn't got a real coronation, it's fate on the scone and they know that in England, they know her, her days are numbered now and as soon as she's gotten rid of we're straight in with the flag and nominate King Ernest Augustus straight in, and if he abdicates to his son, Prince Regent, Ernest Augustus, um, then he'll be Ernest Augustus the sixth um, Prince Regent. Uh, at 38 years old, it's perfect to go straight in and take over the throne with our partnership intact with King William IV, King William III, King George III, King George IV, King William the Fourth, King Ernest Augustus the First. All those kings were in an oath of office sworn to, and King Ernest Augustus the Fifth, and Prince Regent Dennis Augustus. King Ernest Augustus the Fifth is the current legitimate King of Britain, UK, Hanover, Altair, New Zealand. Pacific Islands and the New World Order. The world for that matter with this eight point star on his coat. You can see him wearing his, his eight point star there, right there today. As sheriff of for him. Okay, I'm acting the first sheriff for him in the whole world. Pushing that now before the Queen has any funny ideas of putting Charlie in or William or little George. They're not going in under this bloodline that's there now. So we are in a contract. All that money that the Queen's made is come under this King William IV contract with us. The native chiefs here in New Zealand in that flag of Admiralty contract, private contract. Still going. Okay. So that's all I want to say with this video for now. Um, is um, just that I left a message with Kingy. And I'll catch up with him as soon as I get um, uh, time for that. But I'll continue with the letters to the um, Royal New Zealand Navy again here and the British uh, Navy, um, um, the Admiral, uh, the um, um, Defence Air Force um, uh, Chief of Defence, um, Philip Jones, and the Secretary of Defence, Michael Fallon, and we are writing to those two um, over these matters of this flag and this eight point star and King Ernest Augustus nomination as the King of Britain, UK, and us here in Altair, New Zealand, and Pacific Islands. We're putting that um, ahead now um, before the elections on the 8th. I'm going to get this letter across. Uh, and cut back on my um, gym to get the le letter drafted before the elections on the 8th and dated this letter here to the British High Commission here um, Louise Ixley, Assistant, 
British High Commissioner. I've written and talked to her already uh, to alert her of the offend, offending Navy chief here. I didn't know that uh, come come to the celebration of 182 years since he's been on this land with a Navy ship from Britain that put the title, first title, on the land, uh, Captain uh, Clinton. Captain Clinton uh, and um, Captain James Reedy Clinton on his ship, the Fortitude, HMS Fortitude, and um, George, uh, Captain George Lambert on the Alligator, HMS Alligator, that shot off the 21-gun salute. So um, that's the first British Crown title put on the native land here through the Manukau Land Company and Te Rawakato Wharahirere Manukau. Okay? He specifically took on the role of native court and bank um, transactions of land okay? in England before he came back here. So all of that adds up to where we're going, Tini. I'm just directing this video to you from the last one I just made. I'm just trying to contact you now to get to talk to you, to meet you, and to pick up where we were. But it's no use turning back now. It's too late. That's why I said to Hoepa, uh, Ebia. I said it's too late to change what I have already put online in front of the whole world watching. I can't just go and handpick a chief I'm not used to or hasn't got the qualifications that Kingy has in the military to talk military matters because this is war now with the United States looming with Russia to bomb the whole place up with nuclear. It's coming close and this country is not prepared for anything like that because they're still fast asleep and not keeping an eye on what's going on in the world. Okay, that's, a, that's what I want to say. I'm very... Um, sincere and very serious about what I say and with uh, Sunakora dropped out now from me because she doesn't want to have her life threatened uh, by standing next to me. I'm not afraid of anything. When you tell the truth you're not afraid for, uh, for, of anything. So she's a bit fr afraid. When you're trying to push power for yourself or anything else that doesn't go along with the rest of the tomata in that marae, you're on your own waka by yourself, so you're pushing something that that is woman, not man. You're still hanging on to the United Nations where all the big trouble is with the Queen, and you're talking Queen stuff, you're talking like as if the Queen is still there. She's not there for you. She's not there for you, not there for marriage, not there for anybody by herself. Okay, so that's all on this video I want to say. There's people watching in Gisborne. Now, now that Sue rang me up this morning and told me it's a threat for me to be beside her, we'll soon see where the threat is, where the threat is between me, her, and who she associates with. Okay, so I haven't got any threatened things around me other than a few words that don't hurt nobody. Okay? I'm saying what I'm saying out loud in front of the world. I'm not afraid to put anything online that's true. If it wasn't true, I would have had a lot of back backlash by now. And so the feeling that I have already in Titi Marae, in the time I was there on the 26th, 26, 27th, 28th, is that there's negative feelings towards um, Sue. Uh, coming from the Tomata, coming from Kingi, coming from me and coming from others who are complaining about um, what moves she's got to take over the whole of Ngāpū with her Māori governor. See, so I went up to a point of at least letting her know what I think. Well, I'm not going to let her know any more what I think because I'm afraid I invited her to come up there and I think that might have had some part in ruining the whole thing for Kingy. Why Kingy's, I can't get him in the last few days since the 28th, I can't raise him. So I'm saying there's something went amiss. I think he was felt a little bit threatened by anyone trying to overpower what he and I set up together. It's too late, the whole world knows. His face is all over the world on my documents and those documents stick. 
That's what I tried to tell everybody in the meeting, uh, uh, the, the uh, Congress assembled. Tell them it's everything I say is fixed. You can't change it. It's not going to change because it's too far in. It's it's too far in depth for anybody to comprehend or get involved in. Because if you go anywhere near it and you're saying the wrong thing, you're gone. If you uh, jeopardize the way this is set up with the original titles and the original chiefs, you're in trouble. If your surname doesn't stack up with anything I say and anything Jim Wickort would say or anything Kingy says with the surnames, you're in trouble. If your surname doesn't match up with the chiefs direct, with your surname, when you stand up in front of everybody, with your name and only your name, not Pangai, not borrowing him, not borrowing anybody's Papa Papa, but your own surname. That's how Moai works. Moai is you on your feet, you say to your own family, to your own surname, to your own Papa Papa, no one else's. That's how it works this way. That's how you identify who's waka jumping and trying to get ahead and take over something that's been set up in place for a long time. Right? I'm here talking for the Manukau's till they come and stand in front of me and take it from me. You see? One day they'll have a hui. They'll invite me to their hui and that's when I pass it over. See? But I'm doing all the hard work for it. I'm doing all the hard work for them and the Utatonga, the William family. I'm doing all the hard yards for them all these years and for my own family I've been doing it all along. From East Island, right through the East Cape. You see all those pictures on, on online I put there? They're not there for nothing. They are there because it was given to me. Okay? It was given to me. Even the Manukau's was given to me. And the Utitonga, they gave it to me to take care of. Okay? And then what I say to Kingy, when Kingy gives me his thing, I keep it for him and his family until they take it from me. Right? I'm calling him the Paramount Chief because. He has his own right to Prince King Edward and Queen Victoria bloodlines. He's a bloodline to stand there while this uh, King William uh, and Queen Victoria title uh, to the land has made lots of money out of it. Right? He has a stake in all of that and I'm writing it all up. Okay? No one can do that. No one, no one can write up land titles and put the instruments with it to convert it into pound notes and revenue from what he's owed. He's owed because of his bloodlines, right? And anybody else can come along and say what they want, but then I'll look at theirs. But at the moment I'm looking at King. I'm looking up to King, uh, Papa, and his legal right, legal right to that inheritance of Queen Victoria Trust. Okay? So I'm doing it for one person. If I get one of the other tomatas, I know what to do for them, but they're quite capable of talking for themselves and uh, might be sufficient enough to hold the flag and the title to the land of Kororaraka is good enough. I don't, don't have to write anything. It's already there in plain history. All it is is they, they're owed. The only, the, the only way you're going to get the money is this way, or no way. You won't get the money, you have to get it from John Key, which is 1%. I'm going after the 99% that's missing. Okay, That's what. That's the part where the bags gone around the world. That's something that, whoever, you can't do. Whoever, if they are, you can't do this. You can't go around the world with this flag, with your surname, and expect everyone to believe that you and your name did all this work in the confederation with Mohi Manukau and his family in Britain that's already there. It's already there in sitting concrete with Moai and myself, Sibuano and name, sitting concrete over there with the judges of Roland in the Kaipara and Gisman. Okay? That's the end of it. Anything with land titles, that's my business. With the Rogans, English, Scottish land titles, the Manukau Land Company, Scotland, there. That's the end of that lot. I've got my office secretary in Scotland already waiting for me to get there to go and search the titles out. And the Manukau land titles, no one's allowed to go near. Okay? I've got a mandate from Mohi Manukau to do that. 
longer and Ellie's supposed to be doing things over in the Malta and, and <coughs> the Vatican so who knows he'll pick up from there when things do all this in and clear the way for him that's his business and his father's okay it's not my business but I'm doing it for his father and I haven't been well treated enough by him and, um, and so we'll have to patch that up but I've taken the hits I've taken a big lot of hits from his, his, his himself um, and and now he's in China and, and he should be looking after the British end of this flag and not in China because it's a Manukau title that I'm looking after for the Manukaus and I'm in particular um, Mangatauteri, those Manukaus down that way, okay? Those Manukaus and Mohi Manukaus um, um, family in Kaitara. Yeah, I know it back to front. Everything about the money goes, I know back to front. And the parapalas, I know back to front. I don't, don't argue with what I say about those titles in Auckland. And they shifted the parliament down to Koimara Mara in Auckland. And that's what I got, all those titles to. Okay? There's all those old people back then had their names on these titles, but I'm just sticking to Manukau title and the Kapuru title and the Parapara title. Those three go together, okay? And in the white color, for that matter. And Mother Totary, Cambridge to Cambridge, England. There. It's all in there. And in the documents, right here. Okay? The British from no, no, no one can go and stand there and say that. No one. No one. No one here. No one can go and stand there and have two sides of the coin. The Manukau side and the Wano side and the Moai side. Okay? Those go together. That's Moai's spirit side that's missing here. And with the Manukau's and the Moriori's on Chatham Islands, there's another twist of a story to that too. Those are the UFOs over there. Well, he told me all about those. Okay. I've got all those history written. I wrote handwritten a whole lot. Really easy to type, but I never got to type it. So in the, in the meantime, I videoed him telling all the stories of the Tūrihu and the Patapurai and his island. Right. The Manukau name is there. It's on that land there. Well, it's Motueka and down, uh, down the uh, south of Motueka, uh, way down, um, the Manukau and the Parapara's name is all over the place. It's all over the place down the east coast and um, down towards Wellington and the Kaipara, Auckland and everywhere you go. That's the Manukau title. Okay? Don't argue because you'll lose in court. And it's very severe when I say things that King William X. Uh, of Westminster Parliament, we're using. See? We're using those acts on anybody who gets in the road. And be careful what you say in front of me from now. Okay? Because it's very dangerous uh, if you get things wrong in the wrong place with people uh, who, who, who want some answers. And we don't have guns. The guns are watching us. Okay? I'm not afraid to say what I say in front of the whole world or anybody with big guns because at the end of the day it's just commerce and business. Okay? That's all it is and identification of who you are and whose land it is that you're on. You're on these chiefs' lands, uh, John Martin, uh, Chief of Navy. You could be ex expelled out, out of it by the time I'm finished because you're not responding to me. You're not, I'm here with those chiefs in Kingi Kauru on the Marae and we had our meetings and you didn't respond to me. I'm taking the message back again on 6th of February and it could be the end for you because the Navy from Britain came here to um, uh, Russell and that allowed you to be on these lands with everybody else after the, including John Key. You could be booted out of here. The same as what um, Trump is going to boot the ISIS people out of America and those people are kicking up stink and it's the same as here too. You're going to get booted out because you're the ones that are behind all the ISIS and all this TPPA, um, uh, Catterbury, uh, Skullduggery, um, racketeering business. Okay, and your Panama papers, I'm going to investigate it. I'm going to investigate all of that with this sheriff's badge. Okay. You put your authority in front of this and see how far you get. You put
just authority in front of this junkie and see how far you get. You're going to end up with a queen that's gone into the EU Parliament and abandoned ship. Tell the Navy that. She's abandoned ship and left you all for dead. You can get a bill on your head after this lot from the Levy Data Pound note that's going around at the moment. It's just warming up. We've got Matt Taylor and all the rest of them and, and John Patterson and the Bank of England family, William Patterson, that put the Bank of England together to get their bank back through this. Through this, they'll get their bank back, okay? And you've got Gordon Bowden that's going to own up everybody that's in your thuggery pirate business donkey, all your, your companies, the corporate crown queen companies that are fictitious, not there. They've been scarfing money through the birth certificates and through the land courts and um, bodgy names uh, on, on, on companies that are not there. You're going to get found out, sends Hillary Clinton and those emails, all going to go down now. Okay? When she goes down and Obama goes down, you go down too. And the Navy, Chief of Navy here. The British will clean you all up. Okay? They're, they're liable. The British are liable for letting you thugs carry on in this country without the authority from the chiefs. Okay? You're running all over them. They're going to take the money off you. They're going to have to take the authority here. New World Order to take the, all that wealth off you, pay your debt bill levy for what's missing. For what's missing. We're going to count for it, and the British will order them to do it. Because they're our partners. Right? They're our partners to look for the other 99% of revenue collected through the King's Bench Court. Okay? Thank you very much, uh, King. I'll put this on and send it to you at the same time. Uh, don't worry, mate. We're on track. Nothing's changing between me and you. Your name's on those documents. It's stamped, sealed, and my name and Jamie's Patrick, St. Patrick's order surname on there. Okay? That's how it works. That's how it works. A king, a chief, a sheriff, and a secretary, a flag and administrative documents, title, death, and a tomata to say go. The tomata at Waitangi sends me off to Britain for their sake, for their one percent. I'm going to Britain to go from there around the world for the British sake. And then I'll team up with Gordon Bowden and them and, and, and Matt Taylor and we're going to sit down and put that in together with Westminster and the new King. King Ernest Augustus, we're going to throw them together. Um, Matt Taylor's got his King Arthur, he can slot it in somewhere. And, um, but we're going to stick to where the revenue has gone missing. All that wealth that's missing, the same as Hillary Clinton, scarfed all the money, that's going to be recovered because it's gone through the Queen Elizabeth, fraudulent uh, administration and the Clinton Foundation, and the US Federal State Government, IMF, UN, and NATO, all that thuggery, and the EU Parliament, and all that thuggery has come out of the Queen's head, right? From the King's, usurped the King's power of the eight-point star flag that we have as a receipt of his authority. Law of the Sea, King of the Sea, King's Commerce, King's Bench Court, Royal Revenue, seizure warrants, property seizure warrants, is enacted on the 15th of April 2016, enforced. Forced financial martial law. That's what it is. The Maui, King William IV, property arrest warrant, is enforced in that Maui. The Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court on the 15th of April 2016 under the direction of King Itoro, chief of those lands where the two ships are stuck on his land into law under the Marae Crown, King William IV, Federal State Commonwealth Government of the World, dead in Westminster in London. 
and Devonport. Devonport, England. On King William's property estate land. Okay? You get it? You get the picture? I'm just making that order now on this video. So it's a statement. That's a war, raw statement from me and that government that we're operating at the moment with our business here. Right now. Okay, so I'm enforcing these X on the ship coming here from America. Cease desist. Forbidden from enforcing any martial laws over this martial law on these lands from Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. As of today, I'm making this statement from the Waitangi Marae, City Marae, on the 28th of October 2016. These laws are reasserted there from the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court on the other side on the 15th of April 2016. Okay, King, King's got that because he was there with me. Or if I'm if he ever was there, but he was only there as observing what we already set up weeks and months and years to put together. Okay, he's nothing to do. He's only joined in in uh, in things happening last year and late last year. Uh, I've never seen him before anywhere near the Confederation or anything we do to this flag and this um, British equal star. Okay. It, 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 you can't just walk in and, and take over, not just like that, without the documents. The documents are authenticated by this eight-point star seal, and no one's got it. No one's allowed to use it. No one in the whole world is allowed to use this seal of King William IV without the authority of what I'm putting together on these documents. They're lethal. Don't touch them. Don't anybody touch them because that's between us and the British military um, and Westminster government and the High Court of Admiralty in London, our partners. <coughs> they are our partners. Whatever we recover is their business to recover it too. We write out the bound note, they'll recover. We can recover it, but they can recover it if we have problems setting up. Okay, that's all. That's all for now. I hope uh, you people watching these videos are getting something out of it because it's very serious. If you mess around with these king stuff that's um, created these acts that the Queen is using and the Pope is using and, and Obama is using and all the Commonwealth countries in the world are using those King William the Fourth acts, 1837 period, and King William the Third, St Patrick's order. Westminster Act of Parliament and the Bank of England Act 1864, uh, uh, King William III, uh, and the Pound Note Acts. Bank Act, Pound Note Act, Gold Coin Act, King William III, passed on to King William IV, passed on to Ernest Augustus, King Ernest Augustus V. That's in the bloodline, straight bloodline, not off queue on the Queen's side, it's corrupted and throw that all away and get rid of it because it's no use using it anymore. You're going to end up like Hillary Clinton lying and um, uh, stealing and racketeering uh, with all those people in the whole of the federal state government and everyone involved with Clinton is now liable under this. They're liable, um, Daryl Payne, you're on our side here in America with the Rene. They are liable under this eight point star with this crown of King William, the seal of King William's documents that authenticates our documents, and this eight point star of St. Patrick's Order, New World Order Pope is using that. That belongs to King William III, okay? And us, his partner in business, okay? down that bloodline of William the Conqueror and um, um, uh, William the Great of oh, um, King Solomon's mines. King Solomon. King Solomon um, mines. All the way through. Okay? All that all that wealth has come through through 
William the Conqueror and through to King William III and consolidated into the Bank of England and into the uh, Stock Exchange. King William IV set that up in New York um, before he became uh, king and while well, he was in the Navy. So everything Navy is the um, title, mortgage, land, wherever those H, uh, His Majesty's ships went. Okay, so that's what I'm going on in Kororareka, that for, uh, fortitude, uh, HMS Fortitude in Clinton, um, um, proclaimed the land belongs to the king. And I'm proclaimed already that the land belongs to the chiefs, not to the king or the queen. There. Okay, already said that, already give, given out those um, documents um, to the Tomata and to the um, government here in, in Britain. Okay, that's all. We'll see you later, and I'm carrying on. No gym today.